Let's keep it. Hello, lovely people. This is the Prometheus by Lichtlamp Audio. And look how beautiful this thing is. Actually, it's way too beautiful for this crummy rehearsal space with all the Iron Maiden flags and EMP flags. And I don't know if you can see it in the back. There's a Buffy the Vampire Slayer poster. Although Buffy the Vampire Slayer is cool. Sarah Michelle Gellar is still, still a cutie. Hmm. If you have the number from Sermish, okay, it doesn't matter. So we talk about this amplifier today and I try to not talk too much about the amplifier because you have probably seen hundreds of videos uh, which are at, at least 30 minutes long because you have so much to talk about this amplifier. I try to concentrate on playing. I will try to give you another perspective so there's no down-tuned guitars. It's just this pink RG 25th anniversary, I don't know, with stock pickups and, and everything. And I try to make it glam today. <laughs> okay, uh, we will play some heavy metal, I'm pretty sure about it. But um, yeah, let's start. Let's start with my neatest feature. Is how neat, neater than neatest? Let's start with, <laughs> for me, the most innovative feature. It has this defeat function and what, what, duh, kush, kush, kush. and what the defeat function does is pretty awesome. You know that I'm in love with my Boss Metal Zone pedal and I used to victimize my FX loop for it because I use it as a preamp. With the Lichtlamp Lich, 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 Audio Prometheus, you do not have to because you can plug it in like a regular distortion pedal. You put it in front of the amplifier and all you have to do is you just flick this switch and then you take the preamp out of the equation and you just use the power amp off the amplifier. Which means, in other words, you can use it live. You do not have to victimize your FX loop for this, so you can still plug in your delays and all the modulation effects you can think of. And this is this is one of the smartest things. I said it in the Gear Street video that I made with Daniel. If you haven't checked it out, please check it out. I will link it up here. And while we're at it, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It makes me happy. Thank you very much. And let us also talk about the gate for a second. I think it's the the key in the gate that's built inside uh, the amplifier and it is freaking it's so precise it's 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 really so precise um yeah then we have the loop the switchable loop is always cool and then we can store everything uh, because this thing is capable of midi which also makes it super cool right and it has a 19 inch format so you can put it into a rack if I'm not mistaken and that brings me back to the defeat function that I find just awesome because then you can use your Marshall JMP 1 19 inch rack unit and and have all in, a, in, a, in, an, in an 80s old school rack how cool is that huh so Daniel is really one of the smartest persons I know. And if that's not enough, um, I can show you that right now. Uh, maybe I will make a picture. Um, on, on the back of the amp, you have a power out. So this pedal here is powered by the amplifier. And if you buy the foot switch, you will get also power from the foot switch. I find that freaking innovative. I, I have no idea why I'm so hyped. Maybe I'm a little bit in love with Daniel because he's also very cute. I have no idea. Oh, this is me out of the future. <laughs> I was just playing after the video uh, a little bit too loud and my, my ears are ringing, but that's that's rock and roll, okay? I totally forgot to tell you that you can put in any power tubes you like and you can combine them. For example, this right now has two EL34s and two KD88 tubes in there. So not the Katy Perry, I kissed a girl tubes, but KD88. 8888. This is very important. And you can order them from the website in, in different versions, I guess. Okay. So please make sure to check out lichtlärmaudio.com. I, I will link it down in the description of this video. Okay. So let, let's go back to the to the casting from the past. All right. My plan still is to keep this video short somehow. Um, so let's keep an eye on this channel here. We're in the distortion channel. Uh, everything is more or less at noon, which is cool because you cannot make this amp sound bad. It's impossible. I tried. Trust me, I tried. <laughs> so let's go. Let's play some heavy freaking metal! <laughs> See what I told you about the gate? Whoa! 
And I swear, there's nothing in post. That's nice, right? See how I'm so used to bring back the tone, uh, the volume knob on the guitar. I don't have to. Yeah! <laughs> like it. Okay, let's bring this channel one step back. If uh, I flick the switch here, it goes, because this was the uh, boosted mode. Is this the right term, Daniel? I hope you, it says vintage, wi vintage. It says vintage and modern. And I think I was in the modern channel. So let's go back to the vintage channel. <laughs> So I will dial back the bass a little bit. Yeah! Ah, oh, that's the wrong chords. Oh, now I think I have the right chords. As I told you a couple of minutes ago, you can see everything is more or less at noon. It, it sounds just out of the box like this. It's, it's insane. Oh. Oh, I haven't played that a long time, in a long time. Okay, fuck it. <laughs> Ah, uh, let us add some gain, gain, gain. Dial back the depth a little bit. Wow, I love it. What happens if we crank the gain all the way? Okay, let me try out, let me try out the cut knob. Okay, is this like a high cut, uh, a low cut? I, I think so. It becomes ridiculously tight the more you turn it up. So this is for all you Miss Sugar guys out there. When you use your drop G, drop B, drop I don't know what tuning you're using. Uh, but if you use it, use this knob. It's awesome, okay? Let me try out the cut knob in the modern mode. Yo! 
Scott. I, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't jammed at all, right? Let's crank the gain on the on the, the high gain modern. I, I forgot the the word modern. On the on the modern mode. Yeah, it's fun. Let us try the, the, the clean channel for a second, okay? I'm I'm not the biggest advocate of clean channels, but I never meant to cause you any distorted sorrows Is that clean? Oh, that's pretty much clean. Oh! I'm still using the gate! It's the same... <laughs> it's the same setting that I used for the high gain channel and it also works for the clean channel without cutting the notes. Holy, how is that possible? It's physics probably, but for me, it's a miracle, okay? I'm a soul man. We also have a bright switch. Wow, if that sound isn't bright enough for you, you can go even brighter. Oh, this is such a nice clean sound. I have no idea how it will sound in post because I'm using a new microphone. Sennheiser was so kind and sponsored me this beautiful MD421 II because this is one of my favorite microphones. I had it once at a live show and I fell in love with it and Sennheiser was very kind and sponsored me with this microphone. Thank you Sennheiser by the way. Okay, let's uh, let's talk about the clean channel a bit more because the clean channel is freaking awesome. <laughs> The clean channel sounds, no, it screams Fender. <laughs> it's so clean, it's insane.
Okay, I never, I never spend that much time in a clean channel. What's wrong with me today? So let's switch back to the, to the high gain stuff, okay? We also have this bright, no, not bright, it's bite, like, ah, okay? And this switch is currently at the top position. It, it, how many positions do we have? Three, okay. Top position sounds like this. Let me go to uh, the vintage mode. Okay, that was in the, that, 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 the flick now, the flick, wow. The switch now is in the center. And now it's uh, in the third position. I like it. That's my favorite position. The top position is also cool. The center position is the darkest position, at least that's what I'm hearing in the room right now. That's okay, but this one is my fave. Okay, let's check out the mid knob. Oh, white snake, white snake, white snake vibes. Let's try it. <laughs> I just wanna make love to you in an animal. I should learn the Rex. And the seal of the night. Okay, let's talk about the defeat function. I'll just, I just, I, I will hook up my favorite pedal. I will hook up my favorite pedal. It will take me a second. All we have to do right now, um, so I hooked up this metal zone like a regular distortion panel in front of the amplifier. I'm pretty sure I don't want to check it out. You can use the clean channel for distortion stuff as well. But this is a way better option. Let's flick this defeat switch. And what we are hearing right now is just the power amp, okay? And we engage the metal zone. I'm not sure if you can see the settings. Uh, if you cannot see the settings, I will make a picture. I will take a picture of this and I will, I will, I will show it in the video, okay? Oh, the gate works. Also, <laughs> That's awesome! This is the best sound I ever had with a boss metal zone. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, that was a little bit too fast. <laughs> Lichter Mario was sand, Prometheus all you see, into obscurity. Okay, I think, I think that's it for today's video. I really think that's it for today's video. I don't want this video to be 30 minutes long. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to check out the link in the description of this video. You will find the Lichtlam audio website there. Buy everything they offer because they are awesome. Um, we see us in the next video. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Uh, I need to play this and I need to play this freaking loud. Can I play this freaking loud? And it's dead quiet. <laughs> what else can you ask for? Holy shit. Love it. Ah, oh, my butt. Ah, oh, my butt.